What's up my little pumpkin spice lattes and welcome to JMAX Amateur Kitchen. Today we are making the best butternut squash recipe ever. Hasselback butternut squash. Fall's approaching. Grocery stores have all the squashes out. So let's get ahead of it. Let's make some butternut squash stuff. Let's go. Let's kickstart fall. Let's punch start fall. Let's body slam fall. Let's make this thing. Preheat your oven at 425 degrees Fahrenheit. So we got our butternut squash, about two to three pounds, and we're gonna cut it in half. This is gonna be the hardest part of the recipe, all right? So, so don't try this at home. Oh, wait, the whole point of this is... Okay, try this at home, but be careful. Knife in, and then let's just cut it. Huh. Look how screwed up this is. How did you do that? I have no idea. Great knife skills, I guess. Or awful. There we go. Get a close up just on this novelty book. Boom, cleared out. One more time. Boom, clean. Next, we're gonna peel the outer skin with a Y peeler. I wanna get that white stuff off too. 10 hours later. Hey, I appreciate your attitude. Look at this, it's fall. Fresh leaves falling on the ground. So let's take these. Put them on a tray. All right, and let's put these guys in the oven. We're gonna let those cook for about 12 minutes and then come in and check on them. Oh snap, we totally forgot to put olive oil, salt, and pepper on this before. Hot potato, hot potato, ow. Let's drizzle some olive oil before we forget again. Massage that in there. Both sides. Can I just say how inappropriate this looks? No, you cannot. Is anyone thinking this? No, nobody's thinking it. This is a nice channel. And a little bit of salt and pepper. All right, pop those back in the oven. We should cooking that for like seven more minutes now. Do do better than me, guys. All right, do better. So while that's cooking, let's make a little butter. Start off with two tablespoons of melted butter. Of melted butter. Squeeze in four cloves of garlic. Half a teaspoon of paprika. Paprika. Half a teaspoon of thyme and a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Mix that up. Uh -huh. So. All right, let's check this thing. What we're gonna do to check, and I learned this from Carla, is we're gonna take our paring knife and we're gonna stick it into the net. Now if it goes in about a quarter inch without any fight, we're good to go. It's ready. Boom. So transfer this onto a cutting board, and then we're gonna start making our slices, but we don't wanna go all the way through. So the trick, chopsticks. We're gonna put them on each side so that the knife doesn't cut all the way through. I'm gonna do this super fast, so we'll try to have the camera slow it down for you. So after the cut, transfer these back over to a baking sheet, and we are gonna brush our glaze on it. Ooh la la. Don't forget about the crevices. The crevices. All right, these are ready to go. Let's throw them back in the oven. 425 again for about 20 minutes. All right, this is cooking for about 20 minutes. Check that out. Woo-wee! So, throw it back in. We're gonna put it on broil for five more minutes. All right, and these are broiled, ready to go. This kind of fell apart a little bit, that's okay. Let's plate it up. So we got them on our platter, just kind of fix the end of this guy, you know, for the gram. We're just gonna top that off with some chopped parsley. Boom! And you got Hasselback Butternut Squash. Mmm, perfect for kickstart and fall. Bang, you gotta come try this. Come check this out. Pretty good. Yes! Hasselback butternut squash. Get it, cause fall. Hasselback butternut squash. Hasselback butternut squash. Teamwork. Makes. Makes. Oh my god, can I say one thing no. in this freaking video? <laughs> I'm just horn. <laughs> Hasselback Butternut Squash. If you guys like this, subscribe to the channel, but only if you liked it. You would also no, make the I same mistake. Yes, you would. Yes, you would. Okay, I'm not an amateur. I'd be like, boom, Hasselback. I'm not doing that. All right. Hey, hey, I'm a camera girl. Ooh, I can do so many things. That's you.